Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. By using 3x4x5, a total of 60 small cubes we build a large cuboid. How many small cubes does the space diagonal of the big cuboid go through? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. For convenience, we first denote the directions of the length, width and height of the large cuboid as x, y and z. The projections of the space diagonal of the cuboid in the x, y, y, z, and z, x planes look like this. Here, we can see that, the positions where it crosses the boundaries of the two small cubes in the three directions of x, y, z are the quinquesection, quadrisection and trisection points of this diagonal respectively. Any pair out of 3, 4 and 5 are always co-prime. Which means that, this space diagonal can never pass through the boundary of two small cubes, in any two directions in x, y, z at the same time. That is to say, the position where it crosses the boundary cannot be on the edge of the small cube, no need to say the vertex, but only on the face of the small cube. What is the effect of it crossing the border for once? Let's take another look at its projections on the x, y, y, z, and z, x planes. We find that, on both the planes perpendicular to the boundary face, we see it crossing the boundary once. But on the plane where the boundary face lies in, we don't see it. To sum up, every time the space diagonal crosses the boundary of two small cubes, we can see it crosses the boundary twice on the three projection planes. Now let's count how many times in total it has crossed the boundary on these three projection planes. Four quinquesection points. Three quadrisection points. And two trisection points. Each point appears twice, so a total of 18 points. That is to say, the space diagonal crosses the boundary for 9 times in total. 9 borders means it goes through 10 cubes in total. We can also mark the projection positions of these 10 small cubes, in the 3 planes of x, y, y, z, and z, x. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.